Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Previously, we've been checking out the Helltech Mesh Node T114. We learned about the specifications, and we've also got to unbox it. And I got the optional case, GPS module, and display. Yeah, the display unit. So now, this antenna came in the box with the Helltech T114 mesh node. And you never want to start up any mesh node unless you have an antenna attached. So I just really want to, you know, switch it on for the first time and see, is it already flashed with Meshtastic? I don't know. And then, you know, then we'll go on to assemble the GPS in the case. Yeah, okay, so it's, this looks like some default mode. Yeah, LoRa node zero, that's not Meshtastic. And basically, you know, I can talk for about a minute or so about this. And later on, yeah, it produces this screen here, LoRa error. And that's it. So you, you hit this after a minute. So it's obviously not running Meshtastic, so we got to figure out how to do that. So here I am at flashermeshtastic.org, and there's many Helltech devices, but I don't see it on there. This is the Meshtastic. I mean, this is the Helltech Mesh Node T114, and it's not anywhere on that list. Yeah. So we go back to the product page all the way down to the bottom, Docs and Resource. So let's check out the user manual. Okay, this install framework thing. Oh yeah, okay, so this is if you wanted to work with it in Arduino IDE. Yeah, running a, an example, a new sketch. Okay, so firmware upload, USB CDC is the easiest. And it says you need this NRF Mesh Tastic V242 and it's a UF2 file. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, press the reset key twice in quick succession after you've connected the T114 to the USB port. So there we go. Plug it in. You see it light up. Press that button twice. Oh, okay. It turns it into this <laughs> firmware flashing mode. Yeah, there we go. It says download the UF2 file and copy it over. Yeah, here you see it's mounted just like a USB drive on my PC. It's got some stuff on there already. Yeah, yeah, it's just another drive on my computer. So this could be relatively simple. My fingers are crossed. Okay, let's keep going here. Yeah, this framework and library, I think that that's more geared towards Arduino. Yeah, because I didn't find any UF2 files in there. I, I looked around a little bit. This was not the right place to look. Yeah. No, that's not it. Okay. Come on back now. Let's get back to where we were. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try related resources. And, oh, look at there. There's the... NRF Mesh Tastic V242 UF2 file. That looks like the right one. Let's go ahead and download it. There we go. It's already down. Let's check it out in the download folder. Yep, there it is. Right there. So all I have to do is is it this is it gonna be this easy? Okay, let's get these windows lined up together here. <laughs> Is it going to be this easy? Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm seeing. Just copy and paste the prepared firmware onto the device. It really is that easy. After the transfer is complete, the device will automatically restart. Here we go. And that's just a one and a third megs, the size of that UF2 file. This takes a few seconds. Okay, yeah, you see... The D drive got <laughs> disappeared all of a sudden. And here we're watching. And there's the reboot on the device. Okay, we've got Meshtastic 242 on there. And we've already picked up a node. Unknown name, unknown age, hops away. Okay. So let's go. It worked. We need to go into clientmeshtastic.org. I renamed it. And in the LoRa configuration, yeah, the device role is client. You don't want to, you don't want anything else but client. Unless you know 
specifically that you want to. Got to set your region to US and we, here in Tucson we're using a hop limit of seven. Our channel utilization is not that high yet. There's usually about 30 nodes on but uh, we've all just those of us that are on the discord and uh and such we've agreed on a number of hops at seven but yeah i had to go in and set this region us and i wanted to rename the device to shotoku 57 f8 okay they already got my first test message that's cool and that's on the main channel the long fast channel and i'm replying hey thanks first time powering on the helltech <laughs> T114. Let's see, does the message go through? This is actually just bouncing off of my node in the window. Speaking of the node in the window, let's go see if we can message them. Oh yeah, there we go. He got that message. Yeah. This is my window node here. Hello. So the window node saying hello to me. And did I get it? Looks like I got the message there. Hello. Get the focus. Yeah. Got the message. You can see it down here in the when you click on the individual node as well. You know, there's 20A8. That's my window node. And I'm going to go ahead and reply. So this is a private message. There we go. And message received. Hello. Okay, well, look for the link down below to the Helltech Mesh Node T114 product page. Check out the options. Uh, and of course, this is going to be an advantage over the ESP32 based devices, uh, being that it's not an ESP32. Hopefully, we're going to get some better uh, power efficiency out of it. Yeah, it's a NRF52840. Okay, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my health tech videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.